Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Michelle, and today I bring to you another collection sort of video. So these are things that I have taken a little bit to build up into my wardrobe over the past little bit. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, some of these are pretty recent. I will try to post as many links as I possibly can. Of course, I've mentioned it before, my collection videos, sometimes it's just not possible for me to scour the internet for everything I've ever bought and find the links for these. So I will try to post as many links as possible, but there may not be some there. But without further ado, I will show you my corset collection. So Part of this collection is your more like actual corsets, like proper boned corset with the tie back that makes my waist go as possibly small as I can get it. But some of these are just like corset style tops. I figured I would throw them in because if some people which, totally fair, aren't comfortable with wearing full-out corsets yet because that is a commitment, that is constraining. I mean, you don't need to necessarily tie it all the way in, but it can be constraining. So I do want to show you the like corset style tops that I have too. I also have corset style dresses, the sort of ones that are like built into the dress. So if you guys ever want to see those, just like let me know. I take requests. So yes, I will start with the tops that I have. The first one I'm going to show you is one that I actually wear frequently. I think I've shown it in videos before. So it is this sort of corset style top I got from Simon's. It's really just one of those tops that like clips together in the front and then has that sort of like corset style sort of moment. I really pair it on top of so many things. I believe I originally bought it to wear just as a top, but I don't know how I'll try it on maybe with a top and try it on without a top. I don't know how much coverage this as just a top really has, but I think it's super cute. I I actually think it's one of those things that are like a wardrobe staple like if you want one of those things that like makes an outfit pop and like does a twist to an outfit and like really easily can go so many different things I actually think that one of these are like really awesome and like almost necessary to have in your wardrobe personally for me I wear this way more often than I thought I would when I bought it I believe it was a little bit more expensive I got it from Simon's which is like a, a Canadian brand don't know. I don't believe I was able to find the link for it before, so I probably won't be able to find it again. I did buy it quite a little bit ago, but seriously, it's so cute. It's amazing, and I love it, so that's my first one. Okay, actually, I haven't tried this top on just as, like, a top and not as, like, a layering piece in a long time, and I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. It's, um, not the most secure thing, but I can move, and it's I'm not popping out. Again, I don't know if I'll find this one, but I do know that this is a very common style for corsets, so don't be discouraged if you love this one and I don't have a link for it. There's so many other ones out there on so many different websites. So yes, this is the one that I got from Simon's. And then yes, I did promise I would show you how I would layer it. And yes, this is the pirate top I bought because I was watching Little Women. I love Timothy Chalamet's style. I've mentioned this so many times, but literally, uh, besides wearing it with these pants, it's one of my favorite outfits to wear because it's so pirate renaissance. I love it. Yeah, it's just an example of how I style it, so. My next one takes a little bit to put together. I actually found when I was like looking through my closet. I got this, ironically, as a cosplay for Clark from The 100. I went to meet Bellamy from The 100 back in Ottawa Comic Con in like 2016, back when I still had hope for the show and thought it was good. But I really think that these coming into style, like these with like a baggy top, were the introduction to the corset coming back into style. Like these were like people trying to bring it in in like small subtle ways. And then it's a bit more like the piratey style, but then after these got a lot more normalized, you started to see like the more corset trend come out, especially with the pandemic. It is blown up. So I actually am not a huge fan of it. I never reach for it. I never reach for it. I might sell it on my thrift store. I was thinking about that actually when I was grabbing it. I'm like, I literally haven't worn this in forever. I always thought it was one of those key core classic pieces, and I, I do. I just think that I have the other one that I just showed you first, and I think I reach for that more, a bit more than this one, but I will try it on and show it for you guys. I just want everyone to know that there is a man working perpendicular across from me in the apartment block. A very older gentleman doing work watching me. This is the next corset. I am not, see, I just think that it might just be like this much too long on my body because I am short that it like block cuts me up a little bit. 
I think on someone else this could be the hottest accessory, but I think I actually really like pairing it with this blazer so it kind of like poofs out a little bit underneath. And I do love a good black and pink moment, not just because I love K-pop's black. The next one I actually got off AliExpress and I DIY'd it. So I showed this in my last vlog video. It's this sort of like cropped bustier top. Is it really corset or is it just like a bowed structured bra? I don't know. But yes, yeah, so it just kind of looks like that. It came with straps that came off. So where those straps were placed on here, I actually just sewed in to the lining, like just like literally just like hacked it. Do not have sewing skills. Some ribbons, so I put two ribbons in and then I tie them on whenever I put the bra on. And so it's just like one of those like tight sleeve tops that are super adorable. The trend is like huge, but whether the trend was big or not, I do really just love these in general. I have this one in nude as well, but I just love the white color. I've been talking about it so much on my channel, but I feel like white is having a moment with me right now. I think it's having a moment with everyone, but I'm just picking it up on how much I'm liking it now because I never used to reach for white. Actually, my sister's a very spiritual person who wears white almost always just because it like helps her absorb energies a lot better. And I will always was like, that's so weird. But now I'm like, oh, I love wearing white. I get it, I get it now. So yeah, I'll try this one on. <laughs> All right, so this top can be worn without the straps too. Actually, when I originally got the top, it didn't DIY the straps. The straps were like, I wanna say adjustable, but I know that's not the word for them. Take offable, they're removable, oh my God. My brain sometimes, man. So yes, I didn't tie these, I actually just left them, so I could tie them tighter. But yeah, so this is the corset. It's cute, and it makes a really cute top. I actually paired it in one of my latest TikToks with this like pretty gold skirt. Actually, you saw it in my last vlog, if you watched my vlog. And it's adorable, um, and I love it, and I, I really think that it's flattering. Again, that white color I just really think is like so beautiful, and like literally every skin tone, because it is the absence of color, or no, is black the absence of color, or is white the absence of it? White is all the colors. And then the last one I'm gonna show you for the tops I've shown you in videos before. It's actually from Sheen. It's actually one of my favorite tops. <laughs> it's this sort of like peach, peachy pink corset style top with these like puffier sleeves. It's got this scrunched back too, and I do believe this one's still for sale. Like I bought it last year, but it's still for sale. So yeah, it's got the runched back, so like, it's smaller and then it like holds you in really nicely. You'll see it when I put it on, literally right now. I always forget about this top and then uh, try it on and remember that it's like my absolute favorite thing. But guys, I think this cut is so flattering. I am not wearing anything underneath this, so that's impressive. But seriously, like, I think it's flattering. I think it's comfortable because again, it is literally just a top. I love the silk sort of texture to it. It's really shiny and pretty. And I love the, I love everything about it. I love the style of it, the buttons down the sides. And then I love just the way that it fits. I think pairing this with a little white skirt is like my favorite summer moment. I actually included it in my like 30 spring outfit video. So yes, this is the shirt. And now I'm not gonna take it off. <laughs> All right, and now I'm at the section of the video where I'm showing you like the corsets. Like I am not looking forward to taking these off and putting them on just to show you guys because they are hard to get into. The one thing I wanna say before I put my corsets on, there is something about the internet and TikTok and corsets that's so like, I don't wanna use the word gatekeeping because I think that's one of those like silly internet words. It will phase out and it'll just be like one of those things people accuse everyone of and like till it gets overinflated and it's silly. But I do think people on TikTok really like hyper focus and like try to found so smart when they're talking about corsets. Like, oh, you need to like wear something underneath it. You really need to like work in your corsets. Like I, <laughs> I treat my clothes like crap, which I shouldn't because I've got some really nice, really expensive pieces, but I treat my clothes like crap. If I were to royally mess up one of these corsets, I wouldn't even care. Cause I'd be like, well, that's just the way the cookie crumbles. And I know that sounds bad and I know it is not a good quality to have, but it is the way that I am and I don't think I'm gonna change. So for that, you can comment what you wanna comment about how to wear a corset. Maybe for other people that could be really good to know. Uh, but personally, I, I'm just gonna keep doing what I do because I don't care. I don't care if it like gives me a little rash because it's like on my skin or something. I don't care. I'll deal with it. I'll deal with it. <laughs> so
So yeah, I guess you can see the corsets now. The first one I have, I call my Taylor Swift love story one. Uh, the three corsets I got from Corset Story, they actually gave me them to make TikToks with, uh, so I didn't necessarily have to show them in my YouTube video, but I do just love corsets, so I'm gonna show you these in a YouTube video. I call it my Taylor Swift love story corset because the vibes of it all are exactly that, the same like color palette, the ribbons, the lace detailing, it's definitely a lot more vintage, like a romantic one, like maybe light, I want to say like light romance, romance core is that one, uh, because just the colors, the beiges with the like almost brownie pinks in them, I adore it. Um, I can't pick a favorite of the three, like I, I genuinely can, but whenever I make TikTok videos, this one gets a lot of attention, a lot of people like it, so I, I don't know. I don't know. I can't say it. I can't say what my favorite is. It's like picking my favorite children. So here is the love story corset. I'm sorry about the lighting. It was a beautiful sunny day, but I live in Scotland, so that means it's gonna rain. So I do have a tail <laughs> because I am home alone and I need help. So this is the first one you could really see the sort of like, I mean it obviously like shapes in my waist quite a bit. I don't have it tied that tight, like I definitely just like tied it tight enough to like be a corset, but not like enough to like make me not wanna be in a corset. I just love the soft colors of it. Paired with a pair of jeans, I think, I think it kind of goes with jeans. I think wearing it with like something like Maybe this color of pink would be really, really cute, but I do, do think that pairing a corset with a pair of jeans really makes it like everyday sort of wearable. And then you could really see the detailing here too. I, I think it's cute. Um, and it's very like soft and romantic. And I think I could really do a photo shoot where like, I'm at one of the castle grounds here in Scotland and wearing this and I think it would be absolutely adorable. So maybe I'll put that on my bucket list. You'll definitely see it a lot better on, but it is sort of see-through, but right over like your nipples, it does have like uh, like floral embroidery. So like it, to me, it completely covers it. This is like the blush me mesh detailing. It's got these cool like beads coming down the side too. It's actually the one that makes me like go the smallest. I just think there's something about the boning detail in the middle here that like really when I cinch it in I can like really see the lines of my body and it's absolutely insane. I adore this. This one I call my... You can tell I love Taylor Swift. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so I call this one my reputation era one. I have my love story one. And then maybe the third one that I'm about to show you is me era. I don't know. Let me know what, what Taylor Swift era you think my third corset is. So as far as like shape goes, I do think that this is my favorite sil silhouette that it gives just because of the way the like corset bone is. I like genuinely am shocked. How, like, this isn't me, like, trying to get it tight. Like, this is me naturally putting it on, tying it up, and then, like, this is just, like, the shape that it gives me automatically. Like, oh my god! Violet Tchotchke? What? I think it's awesome. I, fortunately, I don't, uh, I could show you the bottom of it, but, um, I wanted to pair it with a pair of jeans for this video just so you can see how it would be, like, when pubs open back up again or bars open back up again, this could probably be a cute bar outfit, probably with a different color belt. Uh, but it is so cool, the like mesh, sort of like breathable like that because it has the mesh. And I think that it looks really cool because it has the mesh. And I think the eyes and the way that they follow along these lines that are made in there, it has really good like structure to it. It was really made well and really detail oriented. You could tell that the designer of it was really thinking about the final look to it. Oh yeah, I will just show you um, <laughs> that I could go even tighter with it. It's so insane. Do I measure my waist or will that make me feel bad about myself? I'm gonna measure my waist. Um, if numbers freak you out, then I would suggest just like skipping ahead a little bit. Numbers freak me out too, so I would personally skip ahead, but I just think that it's not, since it's not really me, um, and that I, you know, my waist will never naturally look like this, I just want to see it for fun. Oh, I'm literally only at a 26 inch waist with this, so, um, Sir so Mix-a-Lot, 36, 24, 36, wouldn't even be this. Would not, definitely wouldn't be these or this, but you know. Uh, so this is my third one. This one actually has some sleeves alongside it. You'll see it a lot better on, but it just has these sort of like off the shoulder sleeves. It is very Bridgerton. I think this is my most Bridgerton 
hair on my lip gloss. I think this is my most Bridgerton corset that I have. It's like got these little embroidered details. I actually think they're like little dandelion patterns now that I look at them. Little flower patterns in there. It comes in a really pretty shape. It's so funny. I actually did not, like I was excited for this because it's a corset, but I did not think I would like, like it. I was like, oh, that's really pink and really frilly and like, I'm girly, but I, it's really pink and frilly, I say, wearing a purple top with frills on it. I just didn't know if I would enjoy this one. The other two I was able to pick out, and this one, the person I was emailing said that actually really suited my aesthetic well, so I was like, well, okay, if you feel like, feel like sending that one too. Um, so it is this one. I think it's, I think it's very cute. When I put it on, I suddenly have boobs, I'm suddenly giving you body, I adore it, and I'm like, oh, I actually don't want to take this off. So I do love it, and I love the off the shoulderness. Actually, I didn't think I'd care for that, but I do think that, like, this is probably the one that you could most easily style and wear out. I think all three of them you could if you pair them really well, and, like, style them really well, but I think this is... I have a photo shoot tonight. Do I wear this to the photo shoot? Oh my god! <gasps> I'm gonna message the photographer and be like, Hey, do you want me in that corset? Because I got one. Or do you want me in something plain? Because we're taking photos in front of cherry blossoms. And like, do we want the cherry blossoms to be the main thing? Or do I wear my corset? I will ask her. Okay, do you see what I mean about this one be the most Bridgerton ask one. I can breathe, so that's what matters. <laughs> Guys, this one's actually so cute. I think I, like, stand by the fact that I think this is the most casual one that, like, you could wear. Yes, I have a tail still. But you could really just wear this one going out. Um, actually, I really do think I want to wear this for the photo shoot tonight. Um, so I'm gonna try, and I'll send her a picture of this outfit and be like, hey, what are you thinking? Um, yeah, no, I'm actually really happy that they decided to send me this one because it's seriously just such a good way to integrate your style if you do want to like are just starting out wanting to wear corsets say you've done the corset to tops already and you actually want to get a corset i think this is an amazing one specifically for that because again it's just like a nice mixture of casual like the the embroidery the sleeves the color of it and the fabric is more, a lot more casual and then it is obviously obviously a corset so i did Want to end on a high note. Um, yeah, oh my gosh. <laughs> I keep looking at myself in the viewfinder, but like, don't think I'll ever get used to myself wearing this. <laughs> I wish I had a bigger collection, but it is growing, it is ever growing. I think I need to learn to wear them out and feel a bit more comfortable wearing them out. I mean, the UK did just open up, so I haven't had the chance to really wear them out. So yes, guys. That's it for my corset collection. Let me know which one was your favorite, especially out of the three from Corset Story at the end. Like this video. If you like this video, subscribe. If you feel like subscribing, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.